Hi everybody, I'm Marie from Organize Me of New York. Today I'll be showing you how to create a binder that will help you and your college-bound child to stay focused and organized throughout the entire college application process. So I have two children. 14 months apart and I just dropped off my oldest at college so she's all settled she's doing really great but now I'm back into it again because my son is a senior in high school and um, I'm going through the whole process one more time so in doing it last year there were some things that uh, I learned some things that I want to continue on doing and I felt what would be a more streamlined way of doing what I did last year would be to create a binder to kind of gather all the papers that I need to help him be able to do his college application and um, give him some support that he might need you know without doing the work for him but at least having everything at his disposal and giving him some guidance as we go along. To begin this project you just need a few supplies. It would be helpful to have either a three or four inch binder, get some uh, insertable tabs with pockets. We happen to use the Avery ones that have eight tabs and they have two pockets and they look like this. So you have a pocket on one side and a pocket on the other and then it's got the tab. Uh, Post-its and a pen. That's really it. Aside from the supplies I mentioned before, What's most important is to gather all of the paperwork that you would need to do this college application process binder. Okay, we'll call it that. Um, the purpose of doing this for me was essentially to try to compartmentalize everything so that I didn't have to go through, or anyone in my family would have to go through a pile of papers um, to be able to find what they were looking for. Even though it's all for the college process, you still want to save some time and energy in looking what you, you know, in finding what you need. Hi, so I went through my very daunting big pile of papers and I sorted through all of them. And in doing the sort, certain categories emerged. Um, and you can see I used my post-its to basically identify what each sort would be. Along with doing that, I also was able to purge some of the papers that I didn't necessarily want to keep, even though I had you know, them set up in the pile from months ago. But the whole process probably took me about an hour or so. And um, it was good. I feel good. I feel like I got rid of unnecessary paperwork. And now I'm down to the meat and potatoes that I want to keep. Okay. So the categories that emerged um, from doing this are more specific to my son, but some of them are universal that would be helpful for everybody. So for, for us, I, um, I ended up printing out some Naviance reports, um, which is an online program that's a helpful tool for, the, for uh, high school kids to use in preparation for college. And guidance and the parents are able to see information that is uh, being, being re uh, recorded. So um, it's just a great tool. So if you don't know about it, ask your, your guidance department about it. Your school might be doing it already. So I have that. I have some general college information from College Night. I have uh, the dreaded FAFSA form that I, that I uh, printed out because I want to be able to use it as a draft for when I fill out or have my husband fill out that part of uh, the application. Then um, I also have the college application documents or paperwork that I would need for my son to be able to do his college job, which in that are just some to-dos, sending some scores into the schools, uh, the resume he has to write, the uh, Common App essay that would need to be written, and teacher recommendations that he would have to get. Then I also have like a little pile of what I want to do, parent to-do list. Very important dates to remember. In this dates to remember, I ended up printing out a calendar just from you know my Microsoft Outlook, nothing crazy. I printed out from October to December, and I recorded down all of um, possible college visits that are going to be uh, of colleges that are going to be coming to our high school. Also, um, you know, from the pile of brochures that I received in the mail, or that that I should say my son received in the mail regarding some possibilities of colleges that we would maybe want to visit. So I took those open house dates and I put them on the calendar. 
Um, I also put down, <clears throat> excuse me, if there's any um, on-site admissions that uh, for colleges that are, gonna, that are going to be coming to the school. So those are important because then they'll know right then and there whether or not they'll be accepted into the college and if they're going to be receiving any kind of scholarship money. So um, it really can be helpful. And then obviously, too, if there's any like drop-dead dates that um, colleges want when it comes to early action or just regular admissions uh, dates that are important. So again, it's just consolidating all the dates to remember into one thing. Then along the top here, I have some things that, you know, again, to be support uh, documents for my son when he's doing his resume and all that. So I have some sports uh, and club recognition certificates that he might have, anything to do with the Honor Society, um, just you know, maybe some things that he might have done extracurricular that might be of importance. So that's in that pile. I have his unofficial transcripts, which are his report cards from all these years um, that I've kept, you know, and maybe some progress reports. So just little things that he might, you know, he's obviously going to need that, but he'll be able to uh, draw from. Also, just copies of his SAT, ACT, and AP scores, because those are going to need to be sent electronically. But for me, I like to personally have a written document, you know, a printed out document so that it's easy for us to kind of refer to being that I'm creating the, the binder. I figured why not just put them in. Um, plus it serves as a little keepsake for me as well for later on. Um, also any <clears throat> non-matriculated courses that my son might have taken while he was in high school. So those are uh, college level courses that, you know, your son or daughter would take while in high school that will be credits that will transfer over to hopefully whatever college they go to. Then I have um, some Honor Society um, certificates and what have you, and then the volunteer work that was associated with it. So from this table, basically there should be no need for any kind of stress to be able to create the resume that he'll need for his Common App. Um, he'll be able to find the scores that he needs, although like I said, he's gonna have to send them electronically. And um, it just kind of gathers it all together. It's all in one place. You know, if my husband needs to find something, if I'm not around, or if my son needs something and I'm not around, really anybody can go to this binder, which that will be the next thing that we'll be doing, okay, is creating the binder and making it a really all-in-one go-to spot for the family to use. And here you have it, that big pile of papers that I had before, it's all gone because now it's all consolidated and compartmentalized in this binder. Um, anything that I need to find can be easily accessed just by thumbing through the binder. The only thing I needed to just tweak was um, the pile of brochures that I had for the colleges. They were just way too many, so I just decided to, you know, gather them all together and put them in this box. Uh, because I know we'll end up dwindling down a little bit more. I'll have my son go through it and decide, you know, what colleges he would like to see and maybe entertain. Um, but just to show you the binder, you know, these are the different categories that, you know, I had in my sorts. And um, it's just a really, really useful tool for anyone in the family to be able to use. So if my husband needs to you know, find anything out regarding FAFSA and he needs financials or whatever, all he's gonna do is go right to that section and he's gonna pull, pull out what he needs. I really don't want him in any, in any other spot in here. If my son needs to maybe review some dates that are on the calendar, he'll just go to the dates to remember section and, um, you know, and he can kind of, you know, maybe put uh, dates of things that he wants to go to in his phone, but it's all right here in the sheet. Uh, another useful thing for him would be is um, if he wanted to, you know, when he creates his resume to refer back to sports and clubs, you know, this will give him a listing of everything that he did. So, you know, the idea is, is that it's all handy in one place. Um, it's something that, you know, anybody can, can use in the family. It's really just something all around that, you know, I thought would be a very helpful tool to have, being that I had already gone through this process last year, like I mentioned earlier, that I wanted it to just be a little bit more fine-tuned. And, um, you know, with Amory's daughter also going through this process along with my son, you know, I had both of them in mind to try to streamline the process a little bit more. So 
We want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope that you know your juniors or seniors uh, who are you know going through the college process right now have a very very successful school year. And uh, for those soon to be graduates, it's going to come quicker than you think. So. You don't want it to be stressful. You want it to be a fun, enjoyable year. And for you parents, this is one way to be able to try to accomplish that for both you and your child. So, um, you know, enjoy.